This is Paint Life TV. I'm Chrissy Idaho Painter. Today we're going to be talking about wipes. We've got all kinds of wipes available for us today. We've got paint wipes. We've got stainless steel wipes. We've got universal wipes. I'm going to be talking about wipes and we'll kind of just go over what are really good wipes for painters to keep around to clean up messes, greases, and grimes. So if you want to know what wipes you should carry in your vehicle or around the house for cleaning up paint, stay tuned for this video. Now I'm going to talk about you know sizes of the wipes and they kind of come in all different sizes. You have oversized wipes, you got really small wipes. This is a crocodile wipe and this is an oversized wipe. I believe this is a 10 by 15 wipe right here. So size wise, this is a large oversized wipe. So do you want a large wipe or do you want a small wipe? I'm going to take a miracle wipe out right here this is a miracle wipe you can see it's significantly smaller than um, a crocodile wipe so there you have an oversized wipe how do you like your wipes if um for my preference i definitely like a larger size oversized wipe you have um tub of towels we'll pull a tub of towels tub of towels is 10 by 12. so here's a tub of towel one right here you can see this is kind of like an in-between size right here but that's a lot larger than a um a miracle wipe and but there you have it two different sizes and now we're going to talk a little bit about the material that they're actually made of so i'm going to talk about the material that wipes are made of you have kind of like a bunch of different options when it comes to wipes you have you got kind of uh, like these miracle wipes. This is more of what I would consider an abrasive wipe and it has kind of an abrasive material woven into it. So it's a lot rougher, more abrasive. This is kind of this um, big wipe is kind of like in between. It has a, an abrasive side. One side is abrasive. The opposite side is soft. So if you like um, having your know, wipes that have you know um, different sides to them you know one side rough one side not rough the um this is the crocodile wipe for paint this is a soft wipe and it's more kind of like the feel more like a a microfiber towel it's a soft you know feel to it this is kind of like a, not quite as soft as a um as a crocodile wipe this is a tub of towel wipe and so it's kind of like in between has the same texture on both sides so there's a lot of different options when it comes to you know the feel and the material that the wipe is made of now if i had my choice of all the different wipes i definitely like this microfiber um feel type of wipe this really soft wipe from crocodile wipe and this is a paint wipe they also have once again wipes come in all different um chemical makeups is what i guess how to explain it so crocodile wipes has wipes for paint they have uh crocodile original wipes miracle wipes has they got wipes for paint they got wipes for cleaning they got wipes for wood surfaces so there's a lot of different things you can see i've got pro towels right here pro towels it comes in the same container as tub of towels i don't think they're the same company manufacturer but it's got a cyclist on it and it's kind of really geared and marketed towards cycling so there's kind of a little bit about um the cloth types of the wipes so i'm also going to show you here's uh i just pulled out one of the pro towels and these are more geared towards um, cycling and cleaning up greases and grimes with cycling this towel you know it's smooth on one side abrasive on the other side so it kind of compares a little bit to uh, the big wipe big wipe has kind of like the same type of material same type of makeup and even the same type of color so we'll talk a little bit about you know the moisture content of these the I'd say the the crocodile wipes this one is extremely moist extremely wet out of all these this one the big um, big wipes is extremely dry and i'll talk a little bit about that a little bit later but this miracle wipe probably i mean the moisture content i would say probably it's 25 percent less moisture content than a crocodile wipe the um tub of towels is very similar to a crocodile wipe and to me the moisture content 
is kind of important because when you're cleaning up paint to dry paint a spill the longer the the white stays moist the more it's going to be able to clean as it stays moist because you want that moisture you want the chemical in the white continuing to wet the painted surface or wet the spill the wet the grease or grime that you're dealing with and working with so the longer it stays moist the more it's going to work for you all right now i'm going to talk about the odor of the wipes and um, the odor it can be important to you cannot be important to you the uh, tub of towels has you know a, a very decent scent to it i think they, they all kind of have a similar smell to them kind of like a perfume perfume type smell to them i would say that the crocodile wipe probably has out of all all the wipes that i have and all, all the wipes i've messed with i think crocodile wipes has um, probably the least amount of smell um, and odor to them they do have a pleasant odor i pull out a uni wipe here and smell there's almost hardly any smell to the uni wipes almost no odor at all to to a uni wipe there unfortunately the uni wipes is a product i got um, outside the United States they're not available in the United States and stuff I really do like that white but a very low odor of all the the wipes here we got um, you know wipes are the least amount of odor and then I would say the crocodile cloth next I know when it comes to the odors and the chemicals that's in these I have a little bit of experience I was using some miracle wipes inside of an enclosed space and the odor was extremely strong um, it started making me sick and um, it started making me a little bit nauseous, you know, having the container open and working with it. So, I mean, there it could be um, could be an issue for some of you people, um, the, the chemicals that are in them. Just be careful, um, be aware of that, um, not using them in enclosed spaces if they start to make you nauseous or sick. So how tough is the cloth? So I've used the different cloths. It, it's in, what's interesting is like the crocodile cloth is a really soft cloth and you would think that, you know, compared to an, an abrasive type cloth that the crocodile cloth wouldn't last as long, but the crocodile cloth is a lot like a, a, a microfiber towel. It's very absorbent. It cleans up and holds onto the dirt really well. I know these abrasive style cloths right here, the crocodile cloth actually lasted when I was cleaning up with paint probably almost twice as long as these cloths did. Now, some of that could be related to cloth size. The crocodile cloth is a lot larger than this cloth, but these um, this cloth is extremely, really thin. This is a miracle wipe, and it had a tendency to tear and rip really easily when I was cleaning uh, paint off of my airless sprayers. So I like my airless sprayers really clean, so that's where I use these wipes quite a bit. If I get any overspray on my airless sprayers, I clean it off, but the the wipes themselves, all the wipes are actually that I've used. They all are very effective on paint. They're very effective on grease, grimes, dirts, um, and a lot of different things. So working on bikes, working on automobiles, which is what I do a lot, they're very effective for cleaning your hands. And I want to talk a little bit about now cleaning your hands, you know, with these wipes because I've had. A lot of experience with that and some pleasant and not so pleasant now, i know one thing when it comes to using these wipes there's a lot of different chemicals and and they're obviously not going to um disclose all the chemicals in these things because that's kind of some of the proprietary information that they won't share and that's what makes some of these wipes unique but some of them say for paint some of them say for cleaning some say for wood surfaces some original some um, are not so original some are for you know bikes etc but um, I was using the Miracle Wipes one time, cleaning up my airless sprayers and getting the paint on them. And I think I was cleaning with them for maybe you know about 45 minutes or so, cleaning up uh, a few of my airless sprayers. And when I was done, you know, I just put everything away and my hands did feel, you know, fairly dry, went in, put some lotion on them. But what was interesting was the next day, the skin on my hand was peeling all over on my hands. The skin was peeling off. So obviously there's um, harsh chemicals in these wipes. And I know specifically with the Miracle Wipes, uh, my hands were peeling. So it actually killed a layer of the skin on my hands. So I would highly recommend with any wipes, because I don't know what the chemical makeup is of all of them that you wear gloves when using these wipes, some type of glove that's gonna protect this chemical from touching your hands. Uh, now, crocodile wipes actually has vitamin E and aloe vera, 
in the wipe and so I'm accustomed to using these wipes and actually not having gloves on and I've never had my hands peel and they don't ever feel dry to the point where I need to put lotion on my hands and now I'm kind of a wimp when it comes to my hands having lotions having soft hands I do got calluses on them um, actually some open calluses from uh, CrossFit and stuff but um, I just like my hands um, not feeling so dry and I think just in general a wipe would um, if it's going to clean up grease and grime it is going to dry out your hands and of all the wipes the only ones I know of that have something in it that's going to keep your hands from being dry is the crocodile wipes you know specifically crocodile wipes for paint. So I think I kind of talked a little bit about, you know, the cloths themselves, the durability of the cloth. You can see I can um, hopefully give you an idea. I'm just going to put, pull and push on my thumb. You can see that's um, fairly durable stretch. It's kind of interesting. I see a lot of dust flying off. That's interesting. Here's, um, that was a pro towel or a tub of towel. Now that is, that's probably twice as strong right there is a tub of towel. That's really tough and that's looks like some type of woven material here's a miracle wipe right here how tough is a miracle whoop so that, that i mean just a little bit of pressure you can see how easy the miracle wipe tears and so that's a kind of a good demonstration of how well or how easily it tore up when i was using them you know on my sprayers cleaning sprayers so i guess like out of all the ones that i have here the toughest one let me see what am i gonna that's tears really easy. Uh, we've got um, so a you that's a uni wipe right. So the uni wipe is almost identical material to a crocodile cloth, and both of them I think they're probably they came out to be just as tough. Um, that's tears pretty easily. I think that the seems like the uni wipe was out slightly a bit tougher than the crocodile wipe crocodile wipe was probably second place um ultra grime uni wipe was uh first place the weakest looked like it was probably this miracle wipe for paint right there so it's a little bit about the toughness of the towels so how effective are the wipes on paint and and once again i think you know the effectiveness has a lot to do with the moisture content i i think you know, if the moisture content was equal, um, I'm not sure like the chemical makeup, but I think every one of the towels was fairly effective of removing paint. I didn't, I didn't use one of them, whether what's interesting is whether they say for paint or whether they say they're um, just a heavy duty wipe or whether they say um, they're just uh, an original cloth. They all seem to remove paint just as easy. The tub of towels is a heavy duty one. The pro towels is the same thing. I mean, they all remove paint and they all removed grease, grime, um, anything that I'm working with dirt. Um, they're, they're pretty effective. So I want to talk just a little bit about, you know, I do keep these things in my vehicles. And one of the reasons why I do keep them in my vehicles is to clean my hands um, throughout the day or at the end of the day. One of the things I get on my hands quite a bit is caulking. I do wear gloves to keep caulking off my hands because I like my hands clean at all times. You never know when you got to run off and go do a bid or you got to go to the paint store. I don't like uh, having dirty hands, especially when I got to go do a bid. And all of the towels are very effective for cleaning caulking off your hands or you're spraying with your spray guns and you have a tendency to get that gray film on your hands or you're getting paint on your hands and it could be uh, stains, it could be paints, it could be lacquers, oil-based products. They're all fairly effective cleaning that stuff off and especially cleaning caulking off. I do like the oversized cloths and the cloths like the, the crocodile cloth because it's larger, wetter um, with the aloe and the vitamin E. It, um, it is just, it's good for your hands and good for cleaning your hands at the end of the day or when you got to take off and go do a bid. So now I'm going to talk about the price of the wipes and um, how much they cost per container and break it down how much they cost per towel and we'll start off with uh, miracle wipes and miracle wipes these things are going to cost you on average i mean everybody you know your locale your store where you get them it may vary so 13.99 for a container of 90 is what the miracle wipes cost that's going to be about 16 cents 
per towel. Now the next one we'll talk about is the crocodile wipes. This comes in a container, a bulk container of a hundred and it is $21.84 and that is for these wipes that would be about 22 cents per wipe. Now the tub of towels is the next one. There's 90 wipes per container right here. It's $13.96 is what I paid for the tub of towels. And that's about 16 cents per towel. So that's about the same price as a Miracle Wipe. Um, the next wipe we'll talk about is the Pro Towel, um, the most expensive towel of all of them. This was quite a while that I bought them, so the price could have easily gone up by now, or it could have gone down, but $30, $29.99, and that is $0.33 cents per towel. The Uni Wipe, um, the Ultra Grime Wipe, is something... I can't even get here in the United States, so I'm showing it. You can get it on Amazon UK. The price on Amazon UK was um, $11.58. I shouldn't say, I should say pounds, which converts the conversion rate at this point in time. $13.63 is what that converts to, and that's about 14 cents per towel. So one thing you do want to take into consideration when it comes to the prices is the size of the towel. Now, one towel like a, a Miracle Wipe is half, almost half the size of a Crocodile Wipe, so you're really kind of like dividing that by two because you may use two Miracle Wipes versus only one Crocodile Wipe, so do take that in consideration when it comes to the price of the wipes. All right, so... It all comes down to this. I mean, what wipes would I keep in my vehicle? What wipes would I put in my painting vehicles? What wipes do I like? And um, simply what wipes do I like? So all in all, when it comes down to price, um, overall effectiveness, uh, and my wimpy hands, what I like touching my hands, I'm definitely gonna go with Crocodile wipes. They are my favorite wipes, the best wipes that I've ever used. So I'm gonna stick them on the top tier of this ladder. I can't put them up here because that's not OSHA approved. So this is our top tier. Now, what is the second wipe? If I couldn't get well, crocodile wipes, what wipes would I use? Well, I really like the material that is on um, that the tub of towels and the crocodile wipes are made of. They are the most durable. They were extremely effective cleaning paint, grease, grime, caulking, um, stains and stuff. I'm gonna throw these definitely on tier number two. I do got to say, I really hate their container. Every single time I pull a wipe out, I've got to take the lid off and reach down and grab another one. But um, there's a lot of liquid down in there, so they do stay wet all the time. Um, next on the tier, I'm going to um, probably select um, you know, pro towels. I know pro towels are extremely expensive, but I've used them for a lot of years as a bike mechanic car mechanic. They work extremely effectively. They work effectively around the house and all kinds of other dirt and grimes and stuff. I do like the, the material that they're made of. They're excellent. I'm not, again, a fan of the container, but unlike the tub of towels, these always seem to tear at the top and I'd have never had to pull off the container and dig them out again. They Once again, they are the most of uh, um, expensive so they're not so cost effective but the size is bigger next down the line if I had um, I, I can't pick um, unit wipes because I can't get a hold of them they're only um, available on um, Amazon so I can't say I would carry them so next down the line I would choose miracle wipes they were very effective in cleaning paint off my sprayers and i gotta say uh, cleaning paint off my sprayers that had actually been there for several years so it um, cleaned off and i think some of it was paint stains and lacquers and stuff um, they did tear i went through maybe a half a container cleaning one sprayer because they rip and tear really easily now I got one more tier on my ladder, and um, so I got one more wipe I'm going to stick on this ladder. I'm going to say the big wipes. I did like the big wipes, but I got to say, in the package that they came in, all the packages I had, I bought a whole bunch of them at once, and they were all dried out uh, very, very fast. They did not stay wet in the packaging. I used to keep them in my truck, and even this package is completely dried out and no good. So um, 
that makes the wipe basically ineffective and makes it you know not worth your money that you spent on it no matter how much money you spent but while they were wet they were effective and i did like them i do like that you don't have to buy a ton at once i don't have to buy 90 i can buy a small package this package um was just 20 dual-sided wipes so i'm going to stick that down here on the bottom tier of my ladder so there you have it do you have any experience with wipes we would love to know what you um what experience you have with wipes there's all different kinds of wipes um, i'm sure there's all different chemical makeups in these wipes i'm not a chemist if you know what's in these wipes let us know no down in the comment section below we would love to know we would love to learn from you don't forget hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell that way you get notified every time i come out with a new product review you don't miss it it's simple easy to do and give us a thumbs up we would appreciate it out